Expression Camera is a camera app that allows users to reimagine their likeness while using apps like Zoom, Twitch, YouTube, and anything that uses a webcam. And because it can do real-time face filtering, you can use this while in video meetings, in live streams, and when you're just chatting with friends. If you often find yourself in situations where you don't feel comfortable showing your face or the background, this app is gonna be for you. Expression Camera is made by Embody Me, and it was selected as the number one product of the week in its beta phase on Product Hunt. Now, not only can you use it to hide your background, but you can use preloaded or even some images that you upload to transform into your on-screen avatar while you're using a webcam. And since it doesn't require any pre-processing, not only can you make scripted content with it, but you can use it in live stream situations as well. This app is free to download and use, and we also offer a paid version for those who would like access to further customization and utility. This app is compatible with both Windows and Mac, so let's go over a quick rundown of how to get started with this program. So when you open Expression Camera, this is what it's gonna look like. It's split up into two main parts. We have the top part, which is a preview window, and then the bottom has all the different buttons to be able to change your avatar. So with the preview window, there's a couple different UI elements. In the top right, we have the settings button. This will allow you to change the input camera. Right now I'm using the default camera that's on my laptop. Next to that, we have the record button. Record button will allow you to record the output screen directly within the app so that you don't have to use an external recording device or software to create content. Once you have an avatar selected, in the bottom right, you're gonna have different thumbnails and previews of the images that you're using as well as what the camera is looking at. And then the big screen, of course, has the preview of the output window. In the bottom left, we have the camera on and the voice only buttons, and we'll talk about those in a little bit. In the bottom half of the app, we have a few different tabs. We have the faces, the backgrounds, and the animations tab, as well as a bunch of different images. The images will allow you to change your avatar. Selecting on the different images will change the avatar that you use, and it will reflect in the output preview window. With different avatars selected, you can go into the backgrounds tab as well. And in here, you'll be able to choose different backgrounds in order to spice up your screen a little bit. You can also use these backgrounds without an avatar if you wanted to just hide your background while you're speaking normally. The animations tab has different animations that you can use in conjunction with your on-screen avatar. These will be little movements that you can use to automatically move your character or your avatar if you want to do so. Some of the animations also include sound, such as the happy birthday. And so you can use this to play around with your video call or your live stream. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. The app can be downloaded and used for free, but it also has a paid option for users who want a little bit more flexibility and for more control. Signing up for the Pro Plan does unlock a few different features within the app. The Pro Plan unlocks a bunch of different images that you can use, and they're denoted by a little Pro symbol on the graphic itself. You can see all the additional options with the Pro Plan by going through the different tabs and looking for that Pro icon on each of the thumbnails. Another fun feature with the Pro Plan is that you're able to search a keyword and look through a repository of a whole bunch of different characters. And so for example, we can type in something like Einstein in here and you'll be able to use his likeness in your next video call. The Pro Plan also allows you to use the voice only feature, which is a lot of fun if you're a little bit restless or you don't necessarily want to be tied down to the computer at all times. So your camera will be turned off, but your avatar will react accordingly depending on what kind of sounds you are making. And it'll move its movements and blink and nod its head to look as natural as possible. I can be at my computer. I don't have to be at my computer as long as I'm speaking into the mic. So if I have wireless headphones or a wireless microphone, I can walk around with that and pace back and forth while I'm speaking. Another feature that's unlocked with the Pro Plan is that you are able to select your own file to upload and use as your avatar. For example, if you have a call and you're not quite feeling up to being on camera, you can use something like your own image to show yourself but not necessarily be on camera. And so we're going to select a file here, upload my own image right here, I'm wearing a little bit more professional attire. Then I can use this during my web call, during my stream, and not have to worry about what I'm wearing on that day. Okay, so that's the basics of it, but let's take a look at how it looks in action. Like I mentioned before, it works in real time, so you can use this app while in video calls and live streams. Okay, let's try Expression Camera with a video call. And so first, get your Expression Camera app opened up, and you can choose to have your avatar selected 
or keep it at none before this. It's okay either way. Then go into your video call app, start a new meeting. And what you're gonna see is your camera outputting the default video. But what you can do to make sure the expression is connected is in most apps, you're gonna have a select a camera or a camera input. Just make sure that expression camera is selected here. And so now it should be showing what expression camera is showing. And we can test that out by clicking on this little baby. And our avatar is showing up in a preview of expression camera as well as in the Zoom meeting. And you can see that everything is matching up and broadcasting properly. You could change the image as well. And voila. Regardless of what platform you're using, as long as it has a webcam input option, you'll be able to use the filters from Expression Camera in it. If you wanna give the paid version a try, we do offer a seven day free trial. This is a desktop only app, but again, it is compatible with both Windows and Mac. Expression Camera is a really powerful tool where with its real time face filtering capabilities, it can open up a lot of functional and creative options for your next video call. To give Expression Camera a try, just head over to the website and follow the instructions to download and install the app. It's a lot of fun to play with and the possibilities are absolutely endless. To stay updated on Expression Camera and for tips and tricks on how to use it, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and check out the next video. You can find us at expression underscore app on Instagram and Twitter for your micro content needs. Thanks for sticking around and we'll catch you next time.